guys, it's Meg over here, aka Emily, and today we are doing the Transformers Would You Rather edition part two. You guys asked me some really good questions, or some would you rathers, and then Speedy had the nerve to ask me a very upsetting would you rather question. But that makes it more interesting. I link to Speedy's YouTube channel down in the description, and also her Instagrams will be linked in the description. So you're welcome, Speedy. I'm giving you basically a shout out, okay? Question is from Radera Prime or Radera underscore Prime and she asked would you rather be held captive by Nemesis Prime for a year or Megatron? If we're talking about the movie Nemesis Prime, it's still Optimus, it's just he's gone a little bit evil, but we're talking about like another in con continuity, Nemesis Prime is just another character, it's not Optimus evil, it's just another character, so it still looks like Optimus, so I'd probably say Nemesis Prime. They may be evil, but they already look like Optimus, so I'm gonna pick them. Plus, I just, I'm an Autobot through and through. Even if Nemesis Prime has a big old Decepticon symbol splashed on his chassis, I don't care. Still has the structure of Optimus. So, I mean, I'm gonna choose Nemesis Prime. This question comes from Transformers Fan 1829, and they ask, would you rather be kidnapped by Starscream or go on a hot ride with Breakdown? You guys know how much I do not like any incarnation of Starscream. I'd go on a hot ride with Breakdown because obviously Breakdown is so sweet and he's like, he's really cute in his eye patch. I got a thing for pirates and pirates with eye patches are my thing and then robots with eye patches. Hell yeah, I have a Transformers OC that has an eye patch. That's how much I love eye patch. Hot ride with breakdown all the fucking way. I already know what my allegiance is. We all know how I feel about Starscream. He's pretty, he's got nice high heels, he's got an annoying ass voice. I nicknamed him Dorito Chip. Sarcastic Cupcake asks, would you rather be RC or Arachnid? You guys, again, already know how I feel about Arachnid. She's a bitch. She killed Breakdown. She's a spider. I have arachnophobia. I don't like Arachnid. You're making me choose between an angsty, crybaby mom or a total bitch. I'm gonna go with angsty mom over total bitch. <laughs> I feel like this whole video so far is just me been yelling at you guys like I hate this, I hate that, I hate stab a rack. The next question, tears in my heartstrings, speedy, you jerk, I love you, but you're mean. The speed of light asks, would you rather have to kill Raph to save the entire team or kill Bumblebee to save Raph? See, but even before I filmed this, I started thinking about this question in great detail because look at Transformers R.I.D. I'm gonna go and ham on this one or analyze the shit out of it. Transformers R.I.D. In Transformers R.I.D. R.I.D. Bumblebee goes back to Earth. It's been about three to five years between the end of Transformers Prime and the beginning of R.I.D. Bumblebee mentions Raph a couple of times. He never once says, gee, I wonder what, how Raph's doing. I wonder if we should go visit Raph. He never goes to see Raph. So it's kind of like Bumblebee is already dead. Raph thinks he'll never see him again, so it's kind of like he's already dead to Raph. But, I mean, you know that Raph is my favorite Transformers human of all time. You also know that I love Bumblebee because he was my first favorite Transformers character. The first Transformers character I ever drew. The whole reason I made Mega Be Speedy, you know this, because I wanted to have a character that was close to Bumblebee because I loved Bumblebee at the time. I designed Mega Bee so she could be something to Bumblebee. A sister, a wife, a fiance, a, a cousin, anything. You know? <laughs> you have the nerve to ask me this question. I'm okay. I still love you, Speedy, but I don't know. Because when in Transformers Prime, when Raph got infected with Dark Energon, I, w I was having I was having none of it. I was like, oh my god, they can't kill Raph! They can't kill Raph! They can't kill him! When Bumblebee got shot in Transformers Prime, I lost my shit! Oh, this is a tough question! I'm gonna have to go with... I have to kill Raph because you would save the entire rest of the Transformers team. Optimus, RC, Bulkhead, Smokescreen, Wheeljack. Knock out Bumblebee. Save all of them versus if you kill Bumblebee. I think Raph would ever recover from that if I had to kill Bumblebee. If we had to kill Bumblebee. I don't think Raph could ever come back from that. I don't think Angsty Team Mom RC could deal with that. I don't think Optimus could deal with that either. I don't think any of <laughs> I don't think any of the primes could deal with it. So I'd have to go with we gotta kill Raph to save B and the entire team because 
Yeah, you're losing Raph. But you're saving the rest of the team. You know? You know? Uh, I'm okay. The next question comes from SH underscore arts 2000. Would you rather spend the entire week with Optimus or Bumblebee? With Optimus, he's kind of a very strict, like, protective dad. He's like Shiro, but Shiro has a bit more fun put into him. It'd be really interesting to hang out with him and learn more about his history and his, his how he was growing up and all these things about the war. But yet, it'd be a lot more fun to hang out with Bumblebee because like Bumblebee, you could go racing, you could play pranks on each other. It'd be a lot of fun. I'd say you'd probably spend the entire week with Bumblebee because it'd be, really, it'd be a lot of fun. Pranks with people, hang out with him in Raph, go racing hang out with him in Knockout. I think it'd be interesting to go hang out with Bumblebee. And the last question comes from the underscore life underscore of underscore a underscore bookworm. <laughs> you have a lot of underscores in your name, girl. Would you rather sit and read your favorite Transformer, their fanfic, and see the reaction, or make them human and make them try human food to see the reaction? The fan fiction thing could go so wrong, especially if you read Optimus or Ratchet some smutty fanfic. They could just go like, oh my god, what are, why, why do you humans write this stuff? But I'd be, I think it'd be really cool to have them try human food, like, have all the Autobots turn him, have them try cotton candy, french fries, a milkshake, chocolate cake. I think it'd be really interesting to have, to see them try all these different things, because then they'd be like, you humans got it all. I'd go with, I want to turn them all human and have them try human food. I think it'd be really interesting to see like them all trying cotton candy and be like, it disappeared. Deep fried Oreos. Hells to the yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this Would You Rather edition. It kind of, it was pretty, pretty interesting. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Have a very nice day. Bye.